Well, time's almost up to register to vote in South Carolina. Many have already gone through the process, but one Sumter woman had a troubling time after she got a voter registration form in the mail for her 11-year-old son. Here's Alicia Niaves. I went to go check the mailbox. I looked and I seen an envelope saying Zamea Woods. Glinda Robinson is a registered voter in Sumter County. But last week, she wondered if something went wrong when she received this in the mail, a voter registration form for her son. Very peculiar because he's only 11. It was sent by the Voter Participation Center, a national nonprofit working to increase voter registration among young people, people of color, and unmarried women. The State Election Commission confirmed this is a legitimate organization, but for those who haven't received mail from them before, it could raise a red flag. Glenda thought her own registration had a mix-up, so she investigated. I tried to get in contact with the people that sent the letter and to no avail. I didn't get a good answer or feedback from it. So I went down to our own voters registration office and I was told to just shred it because numerous people have been receiving the same thing. Sometimes things like that happen. I'm not really sure how they were putting together their list or how they were trying to identify people who weren't registered. Obviously, uh, that person is not qualified to register from being only 11 years old. Chris Whitmire uh, so with the South Carolina Election Commission well says with such a high interest in this year's election, many organizations are sending mail, emails, and even texts to people who they believe haven't registered to vote. It can create a lot of confusion. So if you don't want to have to worry about how to figure out if this person is uh, correct or just trying to do a good thing and incorrect or if they're trying to do a bad thing, um, is to just let that serve as a reminder, hey, I need to be aware and up to date and informed on voter registration and election issues. And I can do that very easily by going to scvotes.gov. Alicia Neavis, News 19, WLTX.